Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, my name is Plami and in this episode of Cartoon Reactions I'm gonna be continuing my reactions to the Transformers Armada series. Currently we are on episode 39, Crisis, and episode 30, Remorse. Um, I have definitely seen both of those episodes, I know exactly what's gonna happen in episode 39, Crisis, and I'm really excited to watch this episode to see whether it's going to be as good as I remember it, and whether it's going to be as good as the recent episode Sacrifice in which uh, Smokescreen almost died, whether it's going to be as good as that one. Because when I was a kid, when I watched these two, epi uh, these two episodes, I, I think, I believe I cried, like I was definitely really sad about both of them, and I enjoyed those episodes a lot, even as a child. And so far, as you saw in my reaction to that other episode with Smokescreen, I enjoyed the shit out of it. So I'm really hoping that I get to enjoy this one as well. And I also gotta say, I love that we're going to be watching a really good and emotional episode exactly on my birthday. Because if you didn't know, yes, today, 25th of August, is actually my birthday. I'm going to be 20 uh, now. I'm actually, I mean, at this point of recording, it's 25th, so... Uh, I am 20 years old now. I honestly can't believe that I am, but I am. So yeah, it's kind of a special day for me, so I like that we're gonna be watching a special episode. So yeah, uh, without further ado, let's just jump into it. Obviously doing first episode 39, Crisis. In three, two, one. The struggle between good and evil rages on. The Decepticons oh, we have a different intro again. The most powerful minicons in the galaxy. The Earth's only chance for a peaceful cosmos is for Optimus Prime and the Autobots to destroy their enemy. Yeah, we actually don't really have that much left of this series. We have about seven more videos worth. After this one, it's about seven more videos worth of episodes. So, yeah, it's a weird, it's surprisingly short series, actually. I always thought it was much longer. Man, I love the I the feeling of, of dread. It's so me, cool. The west, the sky has turned an ominous shade of green and orange. Yeah. Normally at this time, the sun should be setting, but something unidentified exploded in the stratosphere and has cast a rather foreboding shadow across the city. This is so This is Kelly Baumgartner reporting. What, what was the word for it? Alexis? Ominous? No clue. I'll bet you anything it was Megatron who's behind that comet exploding. <sighs> well, duh, a comet doesn't just explode all by itself in do as the squid head says, man. Squid head? <laughs> Even you, Megatron? <laughs> Stop laughing! This is serious! Don't you realize that uh, once the hydro cannon is my, fired, it takes time to recharge? I have the same, exact same feeling like Cyclonus. There is no need to get yourself... Cyclonus is honestly my spir well, spirit well, animal. I love him. Me. Oh, squid head. Squid head? My name is Frost! <laughs> is that so difficult to remember? <laughs> What's that? You don't enjoy my earthly humor? Buck up, soldier, or you'll be looking at a demotion. What is happening? I understand, sir. What is happening right I'm now? Sure that was fucking hilarious. On my Don't you just love watching those miserable mechanical morons attempting to attack me, Squidhead? I wish he wouldn't Why does he call keep calling King Squidhead? Oh, flathead. <laughs> What is happening? You share your little joke with everyone. <laughs> I wasn't uh, laughing, sir. <laughs> Flathead. Boy, I can really dish it out. <laughs> what is happening? Did, did everybody... You are a freak. Did everybody in hell laughing right us or something? The... But for now, we'll wait until Jetfire gets back and fills us in. It's because of him. Because of Starscream. We let him join us and then he stabbed us in the back. He stole the Skyboom shield to let the Decepticons build the Hydra Cannon. I knew it was a mistake. Optimus! What were you thinking, huh? You allowed him to join our ranks. Why? Damn, he's standing up to Optimus. I don't understand. Why did he decide that it's the better choice to go and join Megatron again? How would that help him destroy him? The Matrix. That's what this was called, right? Huh? Transform! 
Please, you must agree to be the trigger man or you'll never earn back Megatron's trust! Don't! Destroy you if you don't! 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 Him. Don't! don't. And we're now within range! Please say no! How did he get so close? I thought there was a force field! Good job, Optimus. Prime is destroying my plan. Annihilate him. Yes, sir. Roger. Thrust, is the cannon ready to fire? Give me two minutes, sir. Must destroy Optimus Prime. Right away. Optimus. Optimus. He cares. Yay. I love that he cares. Tell you back on me. I'm your enemy. What are you doing, you idiot? Did he intend Must to do that? Focused. My duty is to liberate he the cares. Star Saber, I can't believe he and the cared Red about Wind. Optimus. I won't let you do this. Yes. Is the Matrix giving him this power? Knowing you, Optimus Prime. This is Kelly Baumgartner reporting live from downtown, and I've just spotted a brilliant light which appears to be speeding towards. <laughs> just give me a little more power. He looks so creepy. That's a weird visual effect to use. I really, I personally really like this shot. It's really sad because everybody thinks he survives. He's gone. No! Optimus! What the? He's completely disintegrated into space dust. Optimus! Wait, did Megatron even care? It's still there. I love that How Jetfire is the one screaming this because his fucking voice actor really nails the emotional screaming. Damn. He died like a hero. He died sacrificing himself to save the planet though. I love that. He died the only possible way Optimus Prime could have died. I love that. And I honestly think this death of his is much better than the one in the movie. Or at least like more hero I love that it's more heroic and sadder in a way. I don't know. But yeah, I would say this episode was pretty good. I don't really think it was as good as the smoke screen one that I really enjoyed, but it but it is definitely at the very least as good as I remember it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed everything about it. I enjoyed seeing uh um, Starscream's moral struggles again, and I love that he actually showed care for Optimus. That, to me, that shows that he has changed. He's not the full one Decepticon anymore. And I really wonder how this story arc of his is going to end. Um, uh, and I honestly wish I didn't, hadn't seen like the fi final episode of this series because I am spoiled about certain things which I don't necessarily want to spoil but most likely you've already watched this series so does it really matter but yeah 
I re honestly really like this death episode. I I love that he sacrificed himself saving you. It's just such a badass thing to do that only Optimus Prime could ever do. Man. I just wish it made me emotional enough to cry, but it just didn't. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just not really that much of a crying person, and for cartoons, I hardly ever cry. I mean, for TV shows, it takes a little bit for me to cry, so... Yeah, I don't know. But I did enjoy this episode, and I feel like, honestly, the following episode is gonna be a little bit sadder, because it's gonna be... Uh, the consequences of this because we just saw him die and from what I remember I When I was a kid I did feel sadder in the following episodes, so we'll see how this is gonna go when we get to it But for this one, I think I'm going to give it an 8.4 out of 10 Like I said, I enjoyed I enjoyed the sacrifice. I enjoyed the emotional scream of Jetfire and other things throughout the episode and I also love that Megatron kind of shows uh, care about Optimus because it has been a huge rivalry for both of them and one of them being gone is just it's it, it's like it's something that you never thought was ever gonna happen and most likely they never thought that they would manage to because they, so many times they've been at each other's throats and so many times both of them have survived so you would think that they would never manage to destroy each other but they did in this case so yeah I guess without further ado, let's just get into episode 40, Remorse, in 3, 2, 1. <laughs> For once, I we relate to Fred. We can fix Optimus? I'm sorry, it can't be done. Optimus's body released its spark when it blocked the Hydra Cannon's blast, and without it, there's no way we can bring him back. I wish there was some way we could, but we're just going to have to pull ourselves together and carry on without him. Yeah, but how? Optimus... Try and be more careful, Smokescreen. I'm trying, Red Alert, but how can I when somebody keeps messing with my tools all the time? So back off, will ya? Well, I think maybe you've cross-wired your circuits again. And just how would you Jeez, know? guys, you chill! Know the first thing about installing a matrix circuit. <sighs> Sideswipe, take over for me here. Uh, yes, sir. Good idea. Those two could use a break anyway. Uh -huh. <sighs> Why are we wasting our time building this spaceship? And how are you gonna go after them without a spaceship, you moron? We're gonna need the ship finished if we're gonna catch them. Hey, quiet! <sighs> Bro? Hotshot! You two! Back off! What is happening? Why is he so angry about this? Huh? What do you want? I agree with him. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Come with me. Ah, What's going Jesus. on? It's done for. Hey, let me go, you big lug. You are no friend of mine. Now get up. Ooh, I love. I know it was most likely a mistake, but I love that his uh, symbol here was the Decepticon symbol. It actually makes sense in this situation, I would say. Well, let's see you prove it to me. Hey, take it easy, Holy, scavengers really laying into him. Isn't there something we can do? And why are you doing this? We're on the same side! Ease up! You won't be so lucky next time. What's wrong? What have I done? You don't have a clue, do you? Think about it a second. I don't have time for this. Oh, yeah? If you don't know your place in the Autobots by now, I can't help you! Everybody, so I guess everybody wants him to be the leader. That Optimus wanted him to be, but Jetfire is already a leader. Why would we need Hotshot to lead him? Oh, hey, what are you talking about? There was no way you could have known that Sideways was still working with the Decepticons, yet you still went into battle. I admired that. And even though Optimus disagreed with your strategy, he would have done the same if he was in your position. Yet you had the nerve to question him when he took Starscream on our side, oh. even though he had no other choice at the time. You were way out of line. So, so what? that's what's the problem. He was our leader. You don't understand any of this. 
My mission is to get even with the Decepticons. No, your mission, your mission is, is to stop to them and save the Minicons, not you revenge. You'll become an outcast. Transform. <sighs> Transform! Sideswipe? I'll shoot if I have to. Don't be ridiculous. We're on the same side. You keep saying that you want revenge for what the Decepticons did to Optimus Prime. But as usual, you've gone off on your own without even considering how the rest of us feel about it. Well, I don't need permission from you to do anything. But bro, out of my way! Our goal has always been to see our friends, the Minicons, live a free life. That's right. That's what this is all about. Of You've course. lost the sight of the I target of your mission. You're supposed you to fight for peace, not for it, revenge. I've been fighting with you all like you were my enemies. I'm so sorry. I've been going about this whole thing wrong. I need your help, guys. All of you. I can't do this on my own. In times of crisis, you can accomplish a lot more with your friends by your side than if you decide to go it alone, Hotshot. I won't forget that, Optimus, sir. Sir? Hey, the name's Jetfire. Wow, either I'm overheating or I just heard Optimus speak to me directly from the other side. Hey, that doesn't surprise me. In fact, I bet Optimus would have chosen you to become the next commander of the Autobots. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me? Listen. This whole new commander thing sounds too formal to me. My name's still Hotshot. I'll be the leader till we get back to Cybertron, and that's it, okay? Right. Well, <laughs> you're a class act. Oh, and let's keep the Matrix of the Commander in a safe place for now. I don't yeah, it's not I'll like he has anywhere to where to put it. Just now, okay? Instead, let's keep Optimus close to our hearts. And who knows? Maybe he will be helping. Now I wonder what reason are they gonna use to justify taking the kids with them because that's gonna be... Because Cybertron is like on the other end of the universe and taking 15 year olds for god knows how long? Why would they decide to do that? That is something that I'm very excited to find out and that's gonna happen most likely in tomorrow's episode so that's a topic of another video. But yeah, I would say this was again pretty decent episode. I love what they were going for with Hotshot and him dealing with the loss of Optimus and what he said to Optimus and the situation of him having to be the leader now but I feel like they didn't really manage to do it as best as they could I feel like some things were a little bit forced and uh, how to say it, I don't know they didn't feel as polished writing wise as it should have been really uh, some of the Things that they said to Hotshot didn't really make sense. I feel like they could have created the conflict like a little bit better. What the conflict needed was there, they just didn't utilize it to its best potential is what I'm trying to say. But it was still a pretty decent episode, but maybe not necessarily as good as the last one because there wasn't as much action. But I did like the fight between Hotshot and Scavenger, so there's that. Um, I think I'm gonna give this one an 8.3 out of 10, a little bit lower than the last one. I still think it does a good job of dealing with the uh, death of Optimus and every single character dealing with it, but it could have been done a little bit better. It's still good by this show standards, but it definitely could be better otherwise. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. Also, check out the links in the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me there and to my Wattpad where I post my stories. Because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you end up enjoying my stories or simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to Patreon where you can pledge support and help keep the channel going and help support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy. And additionally, I just want to mention that all the money you decide to support me with are going to go towards my transition fund. Because if you're new to the channel or you just haven't noticed at this point, I'm actually trans, but I am yet to start my transition. I'm hoping to do so in the next month. Uh, so if you could help me out monetarily, that would be greatly appreciated. I don't even really need that much money, just need a constant stream. I know that I'm going to be making money and I will be having an another job. 
so if you want me to also keep doing these videos it would be great if you could uh, donate through patreon but I don't want to guilt trip you into uh, helping me out or force you into helping me out through patreon if you don't want to do it that's completely fine but I hope you would at least like this video subscribe and especially share it, this video with other people uh, who might enjoy it because that would help me out tremendously as well and yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye!